Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Security Booth Director's Cut. Now, this game came out a while ago as a demo. It was around 15, 20 minutes long. I think this full version is around an hour, hour and a half long, and it has seven endings and way more features. And I didn't actually play the original, so I'm actually quite excited to check this out. I think the basic premise is we play as a security guard in a security booth, kind of letting people in and out of an office complex. You have to check their number plates on their cars to make sure they're on the system. If they're not, we turn them away. Of course, if we let the wrong person in, all manner of crazy stuff can happen. And this is a horror game with a sci-fi twist, I believe. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, as I said, I don't know too much about this game. Kind of new to it. So we're just going to dive in and check it out today. I'm also going to try and get all endings in this video. So it's probably going to be a long one. But with all that said, let's dive into Security Booth and see what this game is all about. Okay, so this is the 9th of the 7th, 1996. So we're going back right into the 90s. And here we are, we're in the security booth. So this is our computer, it says the employee register, Nova Nexus, Cerebus, and we've got all the names and number plates of people working at this complex, at this building, uh, or company I should say. Wow, we've got quite a few actually. And we've already got a car, okay. So, uh, what am I doing here? Can I leave? Ah, oh, here we go, yes. <laughs> See, I've never played this before. Um, okay, so our first number plate is VV797S. You just hang tight. VV797S. So can we see that on here? I don't see VV7. No? You're not coming in, my friend. So what do we do if we turn them away? Do we just, like, click on them? I never do nights, but here I am. Mind opening up. I'm going to tell them they need to leave, guys, because I can't see them on that computer, so... Uh, I'm going to say, you need to leave now. They're not on the computer as far as I could see, so I don't think they work at... What is this? Nova Nexus? Yeah, this is the company we work for. It's Nova Nexus. So off they go. There we go. That's one down. Back in we go to our security booth in the warmth. Have our nice cocoa there or cup of tea, whatever it is. So we're going to hang tight. We're going to wait for the next car now. See who comes along next. Oh, wait, did that just open by itself? Close that back up. That's weird. We just had some interference there, guys, for flickering of the light, you know? Don't know who caused that. Don't want to know. I don't know if there's like a paranormal aspect to this game or if it's just basically um, a straight horror game, you know? Here's another car. Oh, wait, I can see someone there. Look, there's a figure. Wait, can we go over to them? Let's see if we can go and interact with this figure across the street. Look, there's another car coming, actually. Look at him, just stood there. It's very, very strange. I don't know what he's doing. He's talking to somebody in that car, I think. Anyway, we're going to go back. So we need to check this number plate out next. SY738Y. That's SY738Y, so let's check that. You hang tight. They're not on there either, so I'm going to have to turn them away, guys. All right, wizard, keep your secrets. You need to leave. Off you go. You're not, as far as I could tell, on the list for the company, so you have to go. And there they go, guys. Into the distance. I hope I'm not turning the wrong people away, but you know what? So far, I think we've done a pretty good job. But there is a lot of numbers on this screen, you know, it's easy to overlook stuff. That guy's gone as well, that shadowy figure that was over there, they've kind of disappeared. It's kind of cozy in here, you know, it wouldn't be a bad job, but... Wait, I just heard somebody knocking on the window. Did you guys hear that? Let's just keep, uh, keep calm. We had the flickering lights in the gate opening. Oh! We got a phone call. System failure. System failure. Okay. System failure. System failure. System failure. That doesn't sound good. System failure. It sounded like a loud bang System as failure. well, didn't it? System failure. All right. Uh, I don't know what that's all about, but it was a loud bang. Doesn't seem like there's any smoke coming from anywhere. So hopefully, man, I don't know what that is. That is really creepy. We've got another phone call. Man, this is weird. What is that? 
Okay, we just had some... I don't know if that was even classed as white noise. It was something creepy, though. So, uh, speak to this guy. This is Nova Nexus, right? Today's my first day. Got a little lost, and now I'm running late. Mind hurrying and let me in? Well, maybe, but you've got to be on the list. So, let's have a look. DE4T93. DE4T93. Let's have a look. Is he on here? We've got a DE3 there, but we need DE4. We've got an RE4, like Resident Evil 4 there. That's cool. Not seeing you on the list. That's mad. How are they not on here? So let me double check that number plate. Oh, wait. There's one on the back. ER684B. That's weird. So why has he got a different number plate on the back? ER6. I'm pretty sure you're not meant to have two number plates on your car, though. <laughs> pretty sure that's against the law, right? He's not on there under ER6 anyway. You're shady, man. You are you should go. Y you need to leave. There we go. We're turning all of them away. It seems like every time we turn somebody away, the kind of noises amplify and we get more creepy stuff happening. I'm not sure why that's, you know, why that's going down. Either way, he's gone now. We've got another guy coming already. All right, let's have a look. Who are you? I was at home doing this really beautiful painting, but then I noticed without realizing I painted something horrid lurking in the darkness, and now I can't sleep, so I'm here ready to work. All right, that is weird, man. That is weird. You are TQ352B. TQ352B. Oh my god, there's a handprint on the window now. And it looks quite bloody. I need to remind myself of this guy's car, because that scared me. TQ352B. Okay, come on, surely you're on here, right? Surely one of these guys has got to work at the company. I'm not seeing him on here so far. Yeah, he's on here. It's Tamara Patterson, systems engineer. You can go through. Here you go, you're my first customer today. Through you go, Tamara. You have a good day at work. Don't have any more of those weird nightmares. And there she goes. Nice. Now we close it behind us and no one else can sneak in. Delightful. Can I clean this handprint off the window now? Doesn't look like it. That's just got to be there, apparently. So we just chill again. We just sit and wait. There's another car. A van, I should say. Let's see what they want. FW862G. Let's see what they say as well. Easy breezy, no more sneezy, open the gatesy. Very poetic. Man, I can hear breathing down my neck now. That's really creeping me out a little bit. Can we see any Fs? FWs. FW862G. Yeah, that's Marcel Amanic, general technician. FW862G. I think that's right, yeah? Let's double check that because I don't want to let the wrong person through. FW862G is right. You can go through, my friend. Enjoy your day at work. Or should I say your evening at work? See you, Marcel. Be well. Close gate. I want to make sure like no one slips through, you know, behind. That's what I'm always worried about. I'm kind of looking around because I'm unsure, you know, if someone's going to try and jump us. Who's this guy? Oh, hi. Um, I don't really know what to say. Well, that's fine. You don't need to talk to me. SE238Q. SE238Q, I think. Can we see that? An S. First of all. Oh my god, I can hear a knocking. SE238Q, is that Zorin Yankovic, lab operator? SE238Q? Someone was knocking. Oh, I've got another, another handprint. Let me have a look. SE238Q, yep, you're good. You can go through before I get destroyed by whatever this thing is. Gate opens. Man, why have we got another handprint there, though? That's so weird. Gone, Zorik. Free go. You're in. Close. Yeah, why are these handprints appearing? I just don't understand. 
I kind of like you have the, the ability to zoom in a little bit. It's like we put our glasses on and it's like, enhance. <laughs> enhance. Oh, another phone call. No. No. I hate it when games do this. Oh my god, there's a ghost. In a sheet. Hello. Can I come and see you? Should I come and see it? What is that? Look, it's actually a floating ghost. We've got a note. Oh, okay. There was nothing there. Is this something I can read? Yeah, it's a secret note. 17th of the 6th, 96. If the director keeps running his goddamn tests, we will never get... Wait, I need to go and answer the phone. I'll read that in a sec, guys. Oh, no. Okay, that's not nice. I d Wait. The car's gone. It just vanished. Let me read this note now, please. Okay, if the director keeps running his goddamn tests, we will never get to push further with classified. We've done so many tests, I'm positive all the measures we have gone to will bind everything perfectly. The classified are working perfectly. I'm sure we won't have another issue like last time. I'm getting sick of waiting around, and that's from AS. So something bad has been going down with, at this company. We've actually got another note over here as well on this uh, lamppost. 22nd of the 696. The director is losing his mind. I have no idea what is happening with him, but he's going around and around with all the tests. I'm going to shoot him if this goes on any longer from AS. Wow, okay, that's a bit severe, you know. It's going from one extreme to the next. Can we see any more notes is the question. Oh yeah, there is actually one over here, look. Wish you could run sometimes. Okay, finally, this is the 2nd of the 7th, 96. The experiment has been approved. The adrenaline is kicking in. I feel that classified will really change this company. Hell, it will change the world. From the 5th of the 7th, 96. Looks like it's coming together now. After the weekend, it's time for the experiment. People are worried about getting error 050477, but I've checked the system myself many times. Everything will be okay. He's pretty sure. Alright, I think that's all the notes for now. I'm gonna get back in the security booth. Kind of just hunker. Hunker. Okay! We've got more um, hands. More handprints. Lots of more handprints. That's very loud. Okay, what am I supposed to do? That's weird. That's unnerving, you know? Um, and another phone call. Emergency. Emergency. Lockdown system activated. Security weapons activated. Oxygen level reducing. Your families will be informed of your death. What? Emergency. No. Emergency. <laughs> Lockdown system at Um... I think what happened, guys, is there's an experiment going on in that building, right? And it got out. It's like an SCP-type facility, right? And, um... I think while we're on the security booth... Okay! Hello, weird guy. They are here. They are here. They are here. They are here. Um... Ending one. Okay, so what was here? Like I said, I think it's something going on in that building. We were reading the notes. They're saying they're doing an experiment, right? Creating something. And then I think the entity got out while we were at work. And we started seeing the very, like, small interferences from it. Uh, it was obviously probably destroying everyone in the building. Running rampant. Running riot. But in the security booth, it wasn't really affecting us too badly. Because we were on the outskirts of the catastrophe, so to speak. But then, as it kind of got further and further out of the building and it amplified, I feel like it was working its way to us and eventually got to us at the end of our shift there. And that's just off the top of my head, guys. I don't know. I haven't played enough of this game. Like I said, it's got seven endings, and that was like ending one. Okay, guys, so the second ending, what we have to do, apparently, is let everybody in apart from the ghost driver. So once we've let all the people in and we get a different ending, I'll cut to that. And if there's anything that happens in between that we haven't seen yet, then I'll uh, obviously include it in the video. But for now, we're just going to let everybody in. In fact, 
I could probably just like keep I could probably just keep the gate open right and just let people through I completely forgot we have a flashlight as well I actually don't know why we need that because we haven't actually gone anywhere that requires a flashlight but I guess it's good to know look we're actually the employee of the month as well it says this is granted to you for doing the job we are paying you to do <laughs> all right they're a bit snarky this company but there's actually another note here that we didn't get last time it says what is wrong with some people someone tried to destroy one of the classified luckily i was around the area at that time i thought i was going to get fired for what i did but classified has commended me the director however was very jittery I'm worried he's going to try and stop this from AS. So AS was up to uh, no good and we've just let another person through, but yeah, that's another note, guys, that we didn't get last time, which is kind of um, kind of interesting. Makes me wonder if we missed any others, you know? We're coming to the end of the night now, guys. We've just been letting people in and in and in, you know, so I'm assuming... Oh, yeah, this is a different ending. It's going very red. Oh, wow, look at this. I don't like the sound of that. What is that? That's like a sphere going up into the air, like a monument. All right, this isn't good. Oh, there's one there as well. Whoa. Okay, where's the other one from over there? What's, what's happening? Okay, this isn't good, guys. Yeah, this is definitely not good. Um, is it the end of the world? It seems like it. No! <laughs> Let me back in my security booth. Ah! We're dead, I think. That seemed like a world-ending calamity. Experiments... What's that say? Audio recording. Yeah, this is an audio recording from the experiment. I think we have to like reverse this right to understand it. Ending 5 missed call. Ah, so that's ending 5 what we got then. Basically ending 2 is meant to be when you let everybody in. We got the missed call ending there. So I don't know what we actually needed to do to get that because I was answering the phone but maybe there's like one phone call that you miss. And then it kind of, um, it gives you that ending. But in that ending, I think if we reverse the audio, we'll probably hear what that was meant to say. So maybe I'll try and do that for you now, guys, and you can hear the audio. I'll uh, reverse it and uh, let you listen to that now. Shut it down now. Don't shut down. No. Hold the damn plug. Now, I'm not going to have known what that said, guys, so I can't comment on it because I'm still recording this uh, playthrough. But you will probably have heard what that weird audio recording actually was now. And at this point, I think we need to try and get that second ending that I was going for originally. So, yeah, we're going to go for the second ending again, which is to let everybody in and see what happens if we do that. So let's dive in and go for ending two. Okay, guys, so this time I'm going to check every car, just speak to them, make sure they're like not a weird entity. I think maybe last time, because I left the gate open constantly, uh, it might have been a case that I let the ghost car in, or the car that comes along and then disappears when the ghost is there, and that might be like a bad one you're not meant to let in. So I think if as long as we're talking to a normal person in the car, not a, like a paranormal entity, and letting them in, then we shouldn't have a problem getting ending number two. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, I'm not going to show you the whole thing because this is very repetitive, so I'll cut to the point when I've uh, unlocked hopefully that ending. Oh, guys, look. It says, I found this recording that someone dropped, gave it a listen, and now I've had a headache for three weeks. Kind of weird. Sometimes you get new messages from the people turning up. So if it seems like they're doing something in there, like with, like, audio, and it's causing people to, uh, you know, hallucinate, get headaches, all that kind of stuff, which is a little bit kind of creepy and weird considering what we've seen. We know definitely this company is doing some weird experimentation. I think at one point, guys, what I might try and do is sneak in and see if we can actually walk the driveway ourselves. You know, walk up to the building and see if we can get inside, maybe. Okay, let's speak to this guy. 
They will come. I'm so scared. See, this is weird. They're saying like really weird stuff now. In you go. I'm going to close that behind you. Almost scuffed his car then. <laughs> Closed the gate a little bit too soon. It's not a particularly nice car, so it's fine. Wow. It's, it doesn't justify it. Let's just put that out there. If I scratch his car, I scratch his car. It doesn't matter what kind of car it is. Oh, look, he says, this isn't the time. Things are going awry. I need to get in and try and fix it. So, obviously, he's been called in last minute to try and fix problems going on in there, which we obviously know, you know, happens because we heard the big bang. So, we'll let him in. By all means, go and uh, fix that weird ghostly stuff that's going on. Off he goes to fix the problems in the building. We'll close that behind him. Oh. Yeah, so... It looks like we're getting the same ending again now, guys. With all the handprints. Unless this wasn't the ending? I, I can't remember if this is exactly where things ended. I hate that. I hate that moment. But either way, um, so far so good. We didn't get this last time. Emergency. Emergency. Okay, it seems like we're getting the first ending again. But I have let everyone through this time, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Oh, wait, what's this? Did this happen last time? I don't know if this happened last time, guys. Run! Okay. Maybe it did happen. Oh no, this is a different ending, look. We've unlocked a different ending. So there's loads of phones going off. Do I answer one? I don't want to press a button in case it skips it. No, that's ending two. Okay, so that's, yeah, it's called Stranger Things ending two. So that is if we let everybody through, but we don't let the ghost in, I think. And then we get that weird ending. And yeah, as we saw, guys, I went outside with this giant cloud of, like, smog coming towards us. And it encompassed everything. And the phone call said we will inform your family of your death but it, that was very similar to ending one it just had a slight sort of twist to it so that is ending one and two done and ending five done so we should have four more endings to do now so this ending we're going to try and stop everybody from going in so no matter who they are we just turn everybody away and don't let anybody into the building we're going to be the most ruthless security guard ever you know one of those real hard asses you, you kind of have your pass you have everything, but they're like, no, 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 no. You need to have, like, this, or you need to kind of wait and then come back later, and then I'll let you in. You know, those kind of really horrible sticklers that kind of just try and make your life hard no matter what you have. We're going to be one of those. So, uh, he says, I have a habit of falling asleep right after I've eaten, so I found I can place... So I found a place I can eat and take a nap, all without anybody knowing where I was. Great, isn't it? Now push the gate button. Um, I'm gonna say leave. Go away. We don't want your kind around here. I think this is what we do all night, guys. We just turn away each car. Like, one after the other. Right, here's the next one. We're gonna turn him away. Have you ever thought about just having a day where you don't let anybody in? That would be really naughty. However, I need to go in. Mind opening at the gates? Well, that's actually what we're doing now, you see. We're actually, um, making sure that you don't come in. So you gotta leave. Off you go. You gave us the idea, and now we're doing it. So now, guys, we're just gonna keep doing this, as I said. I probably won't show you every one. Um, maybe I will show you each car, but I'll kind of cut the bits in between, because it's kind of interesting sometimes to read what these people say, you know? This is Nova Nexus, right? Today's my first day. I got a little lost, and now I'm running late. Mind hurrying and letting me in? No, you need to leave. Off you go. We are being ruthless today. <laughs> We're just turning everybody away. Nope, you're not coming in. You're not coming in. Oh wow, they finally upgraded to a PC rather than a book. That seems better. Could you open up? Nope, you're getting a day off work. Off you go back home, put your feet up, play some PlayStation, whatever you want to do. Just don't be here. And there they go. Into the sunsets. We've got quite a lot of traffic tonight. I'm sorry, but 
can we make this quick? I really need to get into the lab. You're not getting in. You're gonna leave. We're letting that catastrophe just get worse and worse. I wonder what will happen though. You gotta think. If we're not letting anybody in that needs to be in, like these lab technicians and you know security guards and whatever else, uh, whoever else might need to get into the building, things could just get worse and worse. We might get a, like a really terrifying ending this time. But I guess we shall see, right? I swear, if this turns out to be another false alarm, I'll quit. Just kidding. Could you let me in, buddy? Strange thing to have to a little joke about with a stranger, but there you go. You can not come in, you can go. And as I said, I will hunker down again. We're kind of doing them a favor, right? Because I don't like that they keep opening the door. We're doing them a favor because if they go into that building, they pretty much die, right? This is what it says behind you. We get the ghost. I'm not even scared of this ghost anymore. It's just a sheet. It's just like a, a curtain or something hanging down, you know? That's not scary. That's like a ghost from a Mickey Mouse cartoon or something. Yeah, I don't know what happens. Maybe we answer the, t the uh, telephone as normal. L -L 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 look at Oh dear, I I don't know what that says. Look at the death sky. Oh dear. The death sky. Do we go out? Death Sky. I can hear stuff like fireworks or something. Oh, look at that. What is that? It's weird. Oh yeah, look. There's a crack above us as well in the sky. Oh, cracks in the sky. Yeah, look. All around us, man. That's. Whoa. What is that? That's insane. You see these things in the sky? Guys, I am... I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, look. Through each of the cracks, things are coming out of them. Ending free, the saviour. So it was like the heavens opened, and through, through the cracks in the sky, the death sky as it was called, like we were getting all these like giant things coming down. And that is nuts. So that's like an apocalyptic ending, really, isn't it? If we don't let anybody in, we get this apocalypse ending. It seems like the ending always triggers when um, you're in the security booth after you've let in a certain number of cars or haven't let in a certain number of cars. You get all the handprints and the really loud sounds and screaming makes you kind of aware that an ending has triggered. So now, guys, we've actually got like the first three endings and the fifth ending, right? I don't know what we have to do next to like trigger more endings, but we'll keep going with it. Oh, this is new. What the heck? We've got rite of passage on the computer. Look, it's all dark around us. And we've got like a portal there, like a hell portal. I can't leave the security booth. Called it a photo booth. It's not a photo booth. But look, there's something out there, like a radio. Okay, let's go on the computer, I guess. Rite of passage. With each death, your soul sinks further into the depths, inching toward the doorway to somewhere with great darkness. I mean, it's a start game, so like, this is kind of like a secret. Long ago in the kingdom, something strange was discovered. An ancient device deep under the ground in the land known as Alba. Many experiments were tried with this device, but the knowledge it held was not of this world. Blinded men and women activated this device, a bridge to the dead opened up, and inside that place, a bridge to somewhere darker opened. The lands fall ill to something dark. You, part of a royal guardsman, must destroy the device. So we need to destroy this device, okay. Save the kingdom before we all fall into darkness and the world is ripped apart from the void. Oh, what the heck? We're in a freaking dungeon. What is this, like Merlin's cave? This is weird. This is like a Dark Souls like environment. All right, we turn the switch. We can still zoom in. Do we have a way to defend ourselves or not? I'm guessing not. Oh, we have a flashlight. Well, this is why we needed the flashlight then. Let's hope that we don't have like 
you know, a finite use of a flashlight. We can just use it wherever. Because I'm keeping this baby on all the time, you know? Oh, I think this is a, a note. My child, these are dark times indeed. The relic has brought ill to this place. Death, it comes for us all. I fear if you're reading this note, I have perished. You must destroy it before they arrive. Okay. Destroy the relic or the note. I'm guessing he means the relic. He needs to be more clear, you know, when it's uh, world ending. He needs to be very clear of what he means. Wait, I hear breathing. Should I not open this door? I will not open this door. Death walks these halls. It will come for you. Okay. So what does he mean, I will not open this door, but it will, death comes for us? Duff. Lip. Alright, I'm just keeping going, guys. I'm, I'm just going to keep going forward. Forward, I was going to say. We've got another note. The blasted gates are closed. Once Renifer went into the relic room, something killed him. It closed the gates, and I do not have the courage to find all four levers to finish what I started. Or what we started. Good luck to anyone who dares try, and that's from Jill. Spelt very strangely. Wait, I thought I just saw something then. Man, this reminds me of those old, like, uh, games where you just walk down corridors and get jump scared. Like the old ass YouTube horror games from like, 10 years ago. I don't like it. What is this? Is that like a body? Man, I don't know. I think it might be. Under a sheet. Either way, I'm just gonna walk... Walk forward. I can hit... Man, this is quite atmospheric. No. I got someone cackling at me. Screw you. We can go this way. Can we hide in this room? Maybe we do hide. Oh wait, there's a, a lever. Okay, we flipped the lever. Do we walk towards the cackling? <laughs> this is uh, security guard hell. I think we've just opened up the gate. I'm not going in there because we've got laughing. Yeah, this is like hell for security guards, right? Finally, another guard. I would destroy that relic myself. But well, someone closed the gates, and I'm not risking my life to open them. Okay. I don't know if we're meant to click on every door for law. I haven't been clicking on them because I don't want to release whatever's in there, like laughing and stuff, you know? What the heck? That was like the Shadow Man that we saw, um... The Shadow Man we saw, like, I think by the, the car earlier. Another note. I'm closing the door. Okay. We've actually got a cell as well. Look at this. That could be our bed. We're lucky we're not in that cell. Man, they didn't even put a mattress down for these guys. It's just a piece of cardboard and a... It looks like a, a really flat pillow, <laughs> like you'd get in a really bad hotel. At least they bothered with a pillow, I guess. I pray you can hear me. The relic has made me go mad. They sit there for days. They claim what they saw and heard was wonderful. But I saw it myself, and I did not see wonder. It was fear. Fear itself. We must destroy it. I will. I will destroy it at all costs. Cool. Cool story, bro. Well, let's go and destroy it, then. I'm gonna go this way, I think. It's the only way we can go, really. Oh, this is locked. So we need to figure out a way to open it. Another lever, I'm guessing, right? Oh, man. This is, uh... Dank. <laughs> this is not nice. Need a lever, come on. Cut me some slack here. There's some laughter down there, but it doesn't sound friendly. It sounds kind of cruel and, you know, evil. Oh my god. Bruh. That's a bruh moment, as you might say. <laughs> I'm gonna keep walking. Oh, a note. Juicy lore. How can someone be so stupid? If we hadn't found the blasted thing, none of this would have ever happened. Yet bodies now pile up. Each experiment brings another death. Oh please, forgive me my love, and that's from Tantia. I don't think we've had that note, so maybe we haven't been in this room before, right? Oh man, there's bodies. But, also a lever. Nice. Yeah, so I think the idea is, the level opens up slowly, 
we can't necessarily go certain routes when they're blocked off by the enemies. We have to kind of edge our way around, find the levers in the correct order to, to make progress. That's what I'm thinking, guys. I don't know if this guy's still here now. He is. So we can't go this way because of that thing. So instead, I'll try going this way. In fact, can I go up this way? Look at all these um, coffins. I can hear a breathing sound coming from this door. You know what's scary? People coming to your door. Just go away. I don't want what you're selling. Okay, I, I feel like you're the scary one with that breathing, you know? <gasps> Is this a new room? I feel like it might be. Anything down here? Oh, we've got a lever. Oh, and a spider. Thanks for that. That's creepy. I hate spiders. Um, do we have a note? We do actually have a note. And look, a handprint like we saw in the photo booth on that book. What's that noise, man? What is that? Is that the relic? Whatever this relic is made of, it seems to have some sort of effect with the... This section is burnt. In close proximity, this section is burnt. There was a strange sound and a blinding white light. It was so wonderful. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about the wonderful aspect. Do we stare into the relic? No. For now, we have to leave that, guys. Unless we can shine our flashlight on the thing. Nope. All right, let's go. So as I, as far as I know, we've got three of the four levers now, right? I'm just waiting for the, oh! <laughs> I was just gonna say, I'm just waiting for these caskets to like open as we walk past them. Someone threw one at us and it sounded like a woman. She giggled. Could that be Jill? I don't like how our flashlight literally doesn't light the way, you know? It lights like two inches in front of our face. I'm wondering if we've also opened up maybe a uh, path forward now. Yeah, look, this is still sealed. We need to get through this. We need to find one more lever, I think. Yes, I think we've done it. I think we missed the lever in there. Now we should be able to go through the gate. Was it here? Yes, we've done it. There's no run button. This is what I hate, guys. Look, we've got bricks, we've got a cog built into the wall, got a long chain going down from the ceiling into this well. Okay, I guess we interact there and we bring up whatever's down in that well. Oh, okay, yeah, you have to hold your finger down on it. Oh, wait a second, maybe you don't. Vault Art Victorious. Oh, I think we destroyed it. Okay. I don't know what I was doing then. I was raising the chain up. And I thought, oh, we have to grab something off the chain. But I think we just had to lower it back down afterwards. So we destroyed the artifact. And we've been victorious. That wasn't actually too bad. I thought we were going to have monsters, like, attacking us. So it says quick game. It's the only thing we can do. And now we're back in here. And we've got, ooh, a bit of blood on there. Okay. And then we've got this portal still. Now, what do we do with that? Oh, the gate is open. So, do we go through the portal now? Looks like it. Man, I'm going through. There's some kind of hole. Do you want to climb through it? Yes. Oh. Nova Nexus Cemetery. There's a guy over there as well. <laughs> I did notice him, guys, but I just didn't think to say because I'm kind of a bit nervous. Here lies all those, all the lost in the 1996 incident. Ah, so this is like, we've kind of gone forward in the future. We've kind of teleported forward. It's like time traveled is what I was trying to say. Can I go through this? Guess we go through this portal then, right? Climb through the hole again, yeah, sure. Oh man. Now we're in the car park. I've never seen the car park from this side. It's kind of alien, you know? We've always been on the other side of the gate. Uh, we've got a casket. There appears to be three nails missing. Okay, so we need to find three nails. This is kind of almost like I'm guessing the true ending because we're doing so much more. Oh! 
So <laughs> I was really delayed. <laughs> that was really delayed of me. I heard this running behind me and I became aware of what was happening. <laughs> and I yelped. <laughs> so embarrassing, okay. Um, oh, I got a nail. Once you get your ID, make sure to show the booth guard. Hey, you look like a little... You look a little like someone I know. Perhaps you should just take this nail. Okay, thanks, man. That was, I can't. I still can't get over how weird that was. Um, just like ah. Uh. Okay, let's let's check this out. My love, I suppose this was as you said. Work would in the end kill me. Forgive my selfishness, please. Weight on one's soul is not good for anyone here. Please, please forgive me. I don't want to go there. Please. Okay, he doesn't want to go back to work, right? Because I guess they all cottoned on to like what was happening, right? They worked out what was happening at the lab, something shady. We need to try and find another of these nails. I think it's just in all the cars that have their lights on, right? So a car with a headlamp, we go over to it, we get a nail. Yay. I can't remember who I am. Why is that? I just want to move on. Well, no point in me having this tape and nail. Thanks. It's another nail, and we have another note actually on this table. Through the cold halls, I call, but am never heard. The destination is the final calling, but the journey was flawed. One after the other, we pile upon each other and ourselves, save those who look up to the stars, but never draw from them. Quite poetic, these people, you know? So they should start a poetry group, you know? A little poetry night at a coffee shop or something. I still can't get over that you can't run in this game. It's like nut. All right, I was just criticizing the game on one aspect to develop. You don't have to honk me. There we go, got another nail. Oh, hey, you're waiting to move on as well? So this is kind of like the afterlife, right? I'm still breathing. Maybe soon that will change. Until then, you can take the nail. All right, thanks. Actually, do we have another note? Because usually we get a note every time, right? Yeah, there's a note over here. Almost missed that. If you're reading this note, Mind your own business. All right, calm down. I was just trying to figure out what's going on here. Is there anything over here? No. Right, guys, well, we have three nails, so I think what we need to do is head back over there, which is quite a long walk when you can't run. We'll head back, and we'll put the nails into the coffin and see what happens next. Here's the coffin. Let's put the nails in it. Okay, that's done something. Oh, we're putting them in one at a time. Final one, then. What is that? Wait, is this going to be our ID? Got the ID, yeah. Thanks. Can we go into the booth here now? Yeah, we show it to the guy in the security booth. We show it to ourselves. Great, everything seems to be in order. You see you on the other side. So now we're kind of heading to the afterlife, it seems, right? This is like the passage to the afterlife. I think this is what this represents. We've got these notes, but we can't actually read them. I'm guessing these are like representing maybe like the deeds or misdeeds of these people in life. Because this is kind of showing it's like symbolic, isn't it? This sequence is showing somebody's passage to the afterlife. So that was like a guy who was very bad or maybe did a lot of good deeds. I don't know, but I'm assuming these are like bad deeds. So that's like a criminal, right? That's probably just somebody that's kind of had the average life. You know, he crushed spiders and stuff, maybe. We all do it, right? And then this guy was probably like a lawyer or something. Let's go through. Oh, another portal. Climb through the hole. Hell yeah, let's go. It's time to meet our maker, I guess. Look at this. We're back in the, are we back in the cemetery? Nova Nexus Cemetery. Here lies those lost in the 1996 incident. Yeah, okay. Oh, do we dive in? Is this our grave? Is, you know, is this for us? There's another note, so I'm going to read that first. There is no escape here. There's no escape anywhere. Didn't really think there was at this point. I think it's pretty clear what's happening, right? I don't think we can do anything more. We have to go down into the grave, so here we go. And with each soul, you will weigh down. Deeper down you go. This is like the tunnel, isn't it? To the afterlife. Oh, okay. Man, that is weird, like. 
Is this showing everything that's happened? Like our life flashing before our eyes? That's ending four, Rite of Passage. So now we're only missing two endings. We've got ending one, two, three, four, and then ending five. Actually, yeah, we've caught up because we've got ending five like as the second ending. Oh, and now we can play ending four whenever we like because it's quite long, obviously. That's cool. And we've got bonus tapes as well. Okay, so I've had a quick look on the Steam like community guide that someone had written up about how to unlock the final two endings because I really wasn't sure, um, you know, what to do. And apparently there's an ending where we stand in front of a car and we get an ending from doing that. And then there's an ending where we can actually access the gates. Like we talked about it earlier, maybe going through those gates, it was something I was going to try. Apparently that does access a new ending for ourselves. So there's two more endings, guys. I'm going to get the easier ending first, which is just to stand in front of a car. And we'll see what happens when we do that. So we should be able to get that like right at the start right now. So we open this and I guess we just stand here because the cars will always come up to this point, right? And we just wait and see what happens when a car comes. Kind of scared. <laughs> We're just going to get flattened. Send us right back to ending four. Here's our first customer of a car. Ah! Yeah, that's ending six. Curiosity killed the guard. Man, so that's, yeah, that's an abrupt ending. Well, I'm glad I got that for you right there, guys, because that really wasn't much of anything, right? That was just kind of like a, a derpy oops ending. Okay, guys, so I think what I'm going to do now is do the bonus tapes. So let's check those out and see what's on these. Now, the first one's called Mental Notes, so let's check that out. Here we go. Mental notes. I don't know if these are like just audio recordings or if there's more to them. Oh no, look. We actually control it. Oh, that's cool. So there's actually more to the game than I thought. Incident report 01449. Location arc zone. Arc division 1. Which happens again June 96. Involved employees. We've got them there. Natasha, Kara and Andreas. Death of Natasha... Unsure no body found. Of course the body wasn't found. It went through classified. Please take Natasha off all records. They were deleting these people from the company records if they died to these experiments inside the building. A tape of incident supplied to the director alongside the full written report. Huh. Oh, what the heck is this? This is weird. Can I go out? I can, I can walk around this place. This is nuts. I thought I was going to fall down. Okay. Um, I guess we check this out then. There's a note. Date unknown. I got a call today offering me a job. It was a place called Nova Nexus, and it really sounded like a nice job. The more I think about it though, I'm pretty sure I never applied to this place. Either way, I think I'm going to take it. Well, you probably wish you hadn't taken the job at this point, I'm assuming. There's something over here. Another note by this car. After weeks of tests, we finally started Classified. Today was mind-blowing. Classified, it was fantastic. We even heard something coming from it. What was that, though? It was so alluring, but also familiar. Hmm. Wow, there's a note over here. There's so many notes in this game to read. I've been listening to that sound we managed to capture over and over again. It changes each time, but it's the same audio file. I wonder what it will be next time. And here we go, there's another note over here. In this kind of office area. Man, that music's getting creepier. Actually, there's multiple notes here. First one says, they come. The void, lurking in the shadows. Ruin will ruin upon us. Ruin will ruin upon us. The void, the shadows, the call. Brain hollow harm. It's only time, 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 time. Oh wait, there's multiple pages here. It just goes on and on. Okay, that's weird. Let's go then. Let's check out this door. Oh. Where's that call coming from? The other side of this door, I think. Yes. Sir, we're ready for phase three. Issues. Everything seems clear. Natasha has gone into the Ark to check on the devices. Temperature. It's sitting at 10 Celsius right now. Wait, the system just activated. Death. That doesn't sound good. Oh, 
God, the doorway! Oh, that was cool. I wish I'd looked around the room before I just went straight to the tape. That was like, um, that was Kara on the tape, right? That kind of showed how the incident went down, I think. But we've got one called Lockdown. That's tape two. Should we just check this out? This is kind of cool. It's adding, like, more than I thought to the game, right? So, yeah, we'll check Lockdown out secondly. Wait, are we in the same office again? Yeah, we're in the same office. I've got another phone call. Error code. Zero. Five. Zero. Four. Seven. Seven. Error. I'm going to just nope the hell out of here and go home. Yep, that would be me. So, I think that error code we just got there appeared on a note that we read earlier. And it said if we see that error code, it's like really bad. It's like a sort of an anomaly or something. So, that error has occurred. And I'm guessing that's to do with the experiment we got out. That's locked. Man, this place is locked up tighter than Fort Knox. That's locked. That's locked. We're not getting in any of these doors. Maybe the only place we can go is this way. Into this elevator. Out of order. I'm going to see about that. Okay. <laughs> it actually was out of order. I assumed it was going to be like one of those things we'd go inside. And it's not actually not out of order. But no, it was. Got some notes here. Classified test 002996. Explain what you heard during the test. My mother was talking about something I did when I was much younger. Did you feel anything during the test? I felt a little emotional. It's another test paper. Explain what you heard during the test. I didn't hear anything apart from the others in the room. Did you feel anything during the test? Not really. Though I did feel a little worried. The person next to me was bleeding from their nose and eyes. Ugh. So yeah, these people are taking a test and this, these questions are basically directed at them. Again, explain what you heard. I heard a dog barking. It sounded like a terrier, just like the one I used to have. Did you feel anything? To be honest, I felt confused on why we are listening to a dog bark. I think everybody hears something different, right? This one heard a voice muttering something like, you will understand once you're older. Did you feel anything? I didn't recognize the voice, but I felt a strange connection to it. Hmm. Explain what you heard. I didn't hear anything apart from ambient noise. Did you feel anything during the test? Does boredom count? This was worse than jury duty. They would got off lucky, I feel like, those people, you know. Some of these people are getting really affected psychologically by this stuff. What did you hear during the test? I heard my grandmother scolding me. Did my mother put you guys up to this? If so, haha, <laughs> you're so funny. Next time, perhaps do something better for my birthday. Did you feel anything during the test? I felt pissed off if you want to get down to brass tacks. So they weren't too happy. What did you hear during the test? Uh, just random scribbles on the paper. Did you feel anything during the test? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just a scary monster. Raw. That person just got completely twisted by it. What did you hear during the test? Crackling, much like an old vinyl. Look, I don't believe in ghosts, but when the lights went out for a moment, I swear I saw something shift in the darkness. Did you feel anything during the test? I felt scared. And this one, my father, is what I heard during the test. The last thing he said to me. Did you feel anything during the test? Confusion. I can't quite place how I really feel. Whatever you played, I felt like it was a memory playing. Hmm. Any more notes at the front? I don't think so. Got a computer though. Nexus mail. To incidents at Nova Nexus. Subject incident report 5288. It only appears out of all subjects we tested, encrypted on, uh, only one of them started to bleed. The room was cleaned up and the other participants were sent away. I highly recommend checking in with the other two sat next to this case. They may need to be seen by the higher-ups from Jay West. Hmm. I feel like maybe go back the other way now and check, see if there's anything else here. Can't remember if that's where we came from or if this is where we came from. That's blocked. Look, there's something on the floor there. Looks like acid almost. What the heck is that sound? Anything in here? Oh, we can access this computer. Nexus Mail. Error code 079932. 
Hi, does anybody know who in the NAT team put in error code 079932? Check the email below for more information. Who the hell put in code 079932? The system is set up for real emergencies. It says alert, somebody is microwaving fish, this needs to go from Dennis. So it seems like somebody put that error code in by mistake, or perhaps they didn't put it in by mistake, but that's what caused everyone to come to the building. And uh, then all hell broke loose. Maybe it was like a trap for the people working there. Can't go that way. Oh, I just heard the boom. Wait, is this taking place inside the building while the security guard is outside at his... Um... What the heck? I don't think it's safe to be around that. Yeah, while the security guard was working, I think we're experiencing what happened in the building. Perhaps. Maybe this is one of the people called in. Oh, well, look, there's loads and loads of notes here. Character name, Joel Marjal. Uh, race, Winter Elf. Class, Wanderer. Description, from the... Character description. From the peaks of the Northern Plains, Joel is a lone Wanderer, exploring the lands and experiencing the harsh lands as part of a Winter Elf's clan pilgrimage. They are curious in nature and are well adapted to cold places. This is like Dungeons and Dragons or something. I think it is. We've got dice there, look. Yeah. Or does it say Dungeons and Krakens? Same same difference. So, yeah, we've got another one here. Kitwig is a postman from the city of Guardfall. He has an obsession with collecting rare stamps and loves to visit the city to city to find the rarest of stamps. He is known to go into rage when people destroy good stamps or take his collection from him. He did time in jail for killing a man who took his collection when he raged and smashed a man's skull in. Okay, wow. That escalates. This one is Mistofair, race Furline, class Minstrel. Character description, Mist comes from the southern plains of Halbone. She left the harsh lands to come to the middle lands of Elgrenin, I think, Elgrenin, to join the best known Minstrel Academy. She is well known for her gripping songs from the Halbone lands. She also likes to slap that booty, oh no, <laughs> no buns you silly, I mean treasure booty. She loves to collect trinkets and anything that really isn't hers. This game is very strange at times. Very, very strange. Barry Smith, a human race. Class hireling. Barry likes to roam the lands and enjoys working as a hired hand. He works many different jobs in his life. He doesn't like it when people ask him questions and will slap them. Damn. Aggressive little thing. Then we've got Nugget, a red panda, who's a wizard. Nugget loves to sleep in the trees, but is known as a sleep caster. Nugget was forced to leave her village because, while sleeping, she cast a fire spell, which then destroyed most of her village. Nugget has low energy and is known to fall asleep during awkward times. For example, in the middle of combat, and ends up casting spells during her sleep. And the final one... The final one is Carcoon Ruttle, race Kraken, and class shapeshifter. Carcoon lives in the depths of the Salted Sea, in an ancient city known as Atlantis. Carcoon is able to shapeshift from Kraken to human form when they need to. He hates people who fish and eat fish, and has assassinated many people by turning their arm into a tentacle and crushing them. His killings are known by many, but no one knows it is him as he spends most of his time as a human. Okay. Was that what we saw before, that weird guy? That like black kind of uh, shadowy figure? The liquid isn't radioactive. This is from a Nova Nexus presentation. So that's probably the liquid we saw spilt on the floor. It's just liquid, it's perfectly safe. Please note that if anyone feels any of the blow symptoms while at work, it's not to do with a liquid, it's a placebo effect. Fatigue, hair loss, memory or concentration problems, nausea, vomiting, skin changes, headache, blurry vision, if you, however, are bleeding from the nose, eyes, or ears, seek a medical professional. I don't know if I trust them. I mean, it's crackling just like, you know, radioactive waste would. But who knows? I don't think this company uh, is particularly trusted, and I'm keeping away from that stuff. Oh! That was a bang. What's this room all about? Have we got more notes? Man, I don't like the sound of that. Cerebus, Chimera, Kraken. These are all the different races we saw in the D&D um, &D game. But they're like 
They've got clocks on the wall. It's like they're monitoring them with uh, a clock. Very strange. I'm going to have to dive into the story of this game, guys, because quite honestly, it has a very in-depth story once you kind of get into the uh, inner workings of it, right? Don't think we can go that way. Oh! Wow, okay. What was that? Was that like an explosion? Yeah, this is the incident now, right? Nova Nexus. Let's go. Oh, Cerebus. Emergency door. Okay, let's go, let's go. Wow. The wall's just blowing up. We've got a flashlight, we've got a flashlight, we're good. Oxygen level's dropping. Okay, let's go. Oh no! Can we get in the elevator and go? There's a note in here. Or maybe there isn't. I can't get in there, guys. We've got to keep going. The action is ramping up. What the heck is that? Oh wow, we got shot at. Okay. They're trying to stop us leaving, guys. Wow. Someone got blown up. Glad I kind of missed that. <laughs> um, what are we doing? That's all locked. All the computers are locked. The only way is this way. Emergency door locked down. This wow. What is happening? Is that the crazy thing we saw outside? The kind of the smog that was like racing towards us? I think all the different experiments are basically escaping, right? That's what this is. The exit. Sweet escape. Sweet escape. I'm going. I'm running. Oh no, we fell through the floor. I think we're dead. Classified class A. Property of Nova Nexus. I think these bonus tapes are like, we've seen the security guards one, right? And all the different stuff that can happen. The bonus tapes are the employees. So we've got one more, which is stations. This is going to be the final one, guys. And I think I might wrap the video up after this one. But we will, uh, we will see. Because I think that's all the endings then. Oh, this is weird. So we've got Kraken, Siren, Chimera, Phoenix. Oh. Wait, was I meant to answer that one? Connecting call. Connection unsuccessful. Line is busy. Okay. So we can't answer that one. That's Phoenix. What about Chimera? Can we do Chimera? This is so weird. I'm not sure exactly what's happening here. These are the different entities, I think, that they had in the lab. Translation error reverting to English. Alert. Connection error. Okay, so you can't speak to Chimera. What about Kraken? Connecting call. Connection successful. Please keep your brain inside at all times. Ooh, okay, well, this one worked. Now we're in Nova Nexus, and it looks a lot more inviting. We've got the Kraken archives down there. We've got two ways we can go. Here's a note. This heat is killing me. As requested, this room is to be prepared for a new archive item. Please make sure that once the item is placed in the room, that the door is drilled and stuck in place. Also, it has been requested that this glass be removed and changed with a thick glass that would make it impossible to break or shatter. Sounds sensible. Oh man, what is that? It's like a book, um, but like no ordinary book. We've got these sigils all over it and it's being contained within a room. Kraken archives, old book. Information, this book appears to be written in very old English. However, due to the damage and burns of the passages and pages, the book is indecipherable. Symbols appear to be all over several of the pages as well. Though this book has been floating in the ocean when it was found, it shows no water damage. We believe that the gem on the spine appears to protect the book. The gem itself emits a white light that slowly gets dim and then brighter. A request to extract the gem has been requested, but Siren has refused this request so far. Okay. 
Wow, look at that. It's kind of strange. That's the that's the thing we saw that we had to destroy, I think. You know, the object we had to destroy when we were in the dungeons earlier. Unidentified freaky object. UFO. Information. This strange device which was located near the island of classified has been moving in this manner since it was found. Our scientists have tried to pull alert. alert. Snapping imminent. What? Repeat. Snapping imminent. Please go to a designated safe zone as soon as possible. No, I need to read the law, guys. Guys, you got you have to read this yourselves, I think. Alert. Alert. Snapping imminent. What does it mean snapping in imminent? Snapping imminent. Please go to a designated safe zone. I need to read all the information possible. though. No! Guys, I didn't know I was timed. Why would they time limit that? I don't know. So, wait, what's going on? Oh, we're, we're back at the start. I want to go back in and, and read that information again. You get a certain amount of time to see it all, so I'll have to be quicker, guys. Oh no, we can't go back in. Okay, so we can't go back in to read all that information. We'll go into the siren one next. We'll see what siren's all about. I'll have to be like really quick and just rush round if it's gonna time us. Connecting call. Searching for siren. Searching. Searching. Siren cannot be located. Maybe we can only go and see the Kraken, you know? And then we've got Medusa. Medusa's a woman, of course, with all the snakes in her hair that can turn people to stone. Connecting call with Medusa, let's see. Hey, this one's successful too. Keep your brain inside at all times. Well, I mean, I'd hope so, right? Would hope it, it stays inside. I heard some sort of growling coming from the caves the last time I stepped into them. I turned to Jessica asking if she had heard them. No, she says. I'll find out whatever that noise was. I bet I'll discover something that will finally put me as someone deserving of a promotion to lead research. That's from Gary. That's locked. Guys, I'm going to fly through this because I don't want to get shut out again before I... Wow, look at this. Man, where are we? Actually, this was one of the endings, wasn't it? It started to snow. Okay, so let's quickly go through this. There's a computer here. Report 22. We've been diving deep into the Medusa caves. The deeper you go, the more ice statues appear to be. We found a variety of statues depicting people from different eras. Johnson believes some of the recent findings are figures from the Viking Ages. That's the research team in Hackett. There we go, and we can actually go down here. There's another note. Handwritten notes. Has anyone seen Gary? He's been missing for a few days now. I swore I saw him go into the caves, but I couldn't find them at all. That's from Jessica. We just heard about from Gary a minute ago, didn't we? So I guess we go to the next... What the heck is that noise? Sitting trying to get in? We're locked in, guys. And Sitting's trying to get in. What is that? Call disconnected. Reason entity detected. So these... Yeah, this is going to take me a while to work out exactly what's going on here. Oh, we've only got one phone call left now, and it's got these weird symbols above it. It's the only phone left. It's like a new location. Log. Unidentified person. NNS command entered. Removal of person processing. And that's the next one done. Very interesting, guys. Okay, guys, well, that was Security Booth Director's Cut. Probably quite a long video. I've been recording for about two hours now. Got all the endings, all the bonus tapes. There is actually one more ending, which is like a secret ending, and I couldn't manage to unlock it. I actually looked it up on YouTube, so I've seen it. It's kind of like a, a comedy ending where you get like the shadow man dancing. But yeah, I couldn't actually find a way to unlock it myself. You have to basically stand next to the gate, and at some point it should let you in. But it wasn't letting me in for some reason, so I don't know if I got a glitch or if I just wasn't doing something right. But uh, just to wrap up, I thought this game was really, really fun. It was really cool. Uh, lots of stuff to discover. I like these short games where you can complete them in about 20 minutes. But then you can go back through and keep unlocking new stuff, new endings, and it ends up being way more than you originally thought. I actually really like that concept for indie horror games. 
yeah, I always enjoy it, especially when it's done really well, like in this game. I still don't know fully what this game is all about. I think it's about like a world ending event that happens due to some entities being uh, contained within this building. And, you know, there's a section we go into the afterlife and stuff. I think it all kind of connects up, but it's going to be a game that we really have to dive into to work out the story. So I might do a story explain video on this in the coming weeks. With that said, for now, we're going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you leave me a comment down below, hit that like button, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.